Welcome. I'm Rick McPartland. I'm the founder of The Revenue Game and Chief Revenue Scientist. And you have joined our, our series on Revenue Science Question Ask and Answered in 60 Seconds. This part of the series is really on revenue culture. And today we're going to talk about the impact of revenue culture on black swan events. So hang on, 60 seconds, we'll see what we learn. Most of us are pretty familiar with black swan events. Uh, we don't really like to recognize how frequently they happen. If you just go back a little over 20 years, we started with the dot bomb, then 9-11, then the Great Recession, and then the big ones recently, of course, are the pandemic, the supply chain issues, inflation, interest rates, and in between we've had shooting wars, all kinds of crazy stuff. If you have a revenue culture, if you have a culture that's built to sustain itself, it's built on purpose, it, it knows why it exists, it knows how it transfers value and who it transfers to. When you get one of these black swan events, all you do is just make a slight change in how you're going to deliver. You're not changing purpose. You're not changing ideal buyers. You're really just making some simple changes. It's a whole lot easier if you're a revenue culture. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you uh, don't know it, we have a, a weekly uh, blog that we put out, a bi-monthly podcast. And if you need issues solved right away, we can help you with fractional chief revenue officers, or we can get you and your team certified as a in CRO thinking so that you know how to deal with black swan events and other crazy things that happen. So thank you for being with us today and reach out if we can help.